So to find an article on Gale Science and Context, you're going to want to start on the library website, the Eagle View Library sub website. So you're going to go to Schools, and then you're going to pick Eagle View, and then you're going to go to Academics, go to Library Media Center, and go to Library Catalog and Research Databases, and then you'll scroll down here to Gale Science and Context, and you can just put your drug in here. Um, now this database will work better for some searches than others, so it may not have information for um, everyone's drug, but it will have information for some of them. So I'll type heroin in here, and I know it does have some information on heroin. Um, so the best place to search is in the reference articles, and I can click on it either here or here. Reference articles are um, encyclopedia type articles. They're articles that are, get, that are going to give you general information. Um, definitely not going to want biographies. Um, I could try news articles, which are like newspaper articles, uh, and I can also try magazine articles if I want to. Um, but for now, I'm going to stick to looking at the reference article. So I'll go ahead and click that out. Um, and you'll notice as I scroll down here, um, it starts getting a little more and more off topic. So the best articles are usually the ones right up at the top here. So there's a few to choose from. Um, and if you're interested, if you're wondering about the colors, the colors refer to reading level. But I don't find a huge difference in the reading level of the articles. Um, red is supposed to be the advanced reading level, yellow the intermediate, and green the easier. Um, but this is a database meant for uh, high school students, really. So even the green reading level is still fairly difficult. You certainly won't find the uh, green reading level um, you know, at an elementary um, easy level. Um, so let's go ahead and just try out you know, one of these articles here. Okay, so this article has a lot of information. And let's say that I decide to use this, and then I need to cite it. Um, to cite it, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. All the way down here, quite a long way. Okay, and I'm going to look for this thing that says source citation. This is an MLA citation, um, so I'm just going to copy and paste this, and just this here, and put that into my bibliography, or save it until I create my bibliography. Um, I am not. What I'm not going to do is take this URL up here, which is very long, and um, put this into EasyBib and try to create a citation that way. Okay, you definitely want to use the pre-made source citation here. 